hello everyone let's um, solve this problem very quickly and um, for us to solve this the first thing we'll do is to bring all the terms to the left so we have x to the power 4 plus x squared minus 20 equal to 0 okay and now what I want us to do now is trying to split this 20 and then I will have x to the power 4 plus x squared then minus open bracket this 20 is the same thing as 16 plus 4 then this is equal to 0 the next thing I will do is to open this bracket again so I have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 minus 16 minus 4 equal to 0 okay now the next thing to be done is to break this x to the power of 4 down and 16 down so if I do that I will have x squared then to the power of 2 you know this will give us the same x to the power of 4 then plus x um squared minus 16 here is the same thing as 4 squared then minus 4 this is equal to 0 and then the next thing to be done is to rearrange this remember this is negative 4 squared i can bring it to this so that i can apply difference of two squares so i'll have x squared then squared minus i'm having four squared here now four squared then plus i will have x squared then minus four which is equal to zero now what do i do for this one alone i can apply difference of two squares so that i will have from um, x squared minus four in one bracket and in the other bracket, I'll have x squared plus 4. I have applied difference of two squares, okay? And then I have plus this, which is x squared minus 4, which is equal to 0. Now, if you look at this side and here, we have something common. And that is x squared minus 4. So I have to factor out x squared minus 4 because it is here and also here so if I factor out x squared minus 4 okay let me have this here then in this bracket I will have x squared plus 4 x squared plus 4 and then here x squared minus 4 has come out so it's going to be plus 1 over here close this bracket and this is equal to 0 now taking a step further, I have x squared minus 4 in this bracket and then in the other bracket I have x squared plus 5. 4 plus 1 is 5, close this and this is equal to 0. And now I can apply 0 product rule, meaning that <clears throat> it is either both of them are equal to 0 or one of them is equal to zero so here now i'm going to have x squared minus four to be, to be equal to zero or x squared plus five to be equal to zero okay now what do i do from here it means that x squared is equal to four or on this side x squared is equal to minus 5 now let me take a step further this is the same x squared to be equal to 4 or x squared to be equal to we have minus 1 okay in one bracket times 5 right that is the same thing that we have over there now let's transfer the square to the other side as it becomes square root so x will be equal to positive or negative 
square root of 4. Then on the other side, x will be equal to positive or negative square root of everything here, which is minus 1 and then 5. Okay, so we we'll take a step further. x will be equal to positive or negative. Square root of 4 is 2. Okay, let me split it like this. Square root of 4 is 2. And this means that um, x1 is equal to plus 2. And then x2 is equal to minus 2. So we now have two values of x. 2 and minus 2, right? Now, let's go to the other side. We have x to be equal to positive or negative. Now, we are going to split it. We have square root, square root of minus 1 in one bracket. And then we have um, square root of 5 in the other bracket. So now, x is equal to positive or negative. Square root of minus 1 is i. And then we are multiplying it by square root of 5. Square root of 5. And this means that x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5i. Square root of 5i. That is square root of 5 times i. And now, remember we got x1 and x2 before. So whatever we are having now is x3 and x4. So our x3 is square root of 5 um, i. That's x3. Then our x4 now will be equal to negative square root of 5 i. Okay, so we have negative square root of 5 i. Now let's bring everything together so that when we do that, we're going to have our x1 to be equal to 2, our x2 to be equal to minus 2, our x3 to be equal to square root of um, 5i, and then our x4 to be equal to negative square root of 5i. So these are the values of x that will satisfy the given equation. Thank you for watching.